Hello everyone. Let's discuss transformer as a negative feedback device. Now in this session, we have to justify how transformer is described as negative feedback device. So this is one of the important observation we have mentioned in the first class, right? Now in this session, we have to justify that statement. So we all know that transformer is having statically induced EMF, right? So the statically induced EMF which is induced in transformer. EMF induced in transformer. is what statically induced EMF clear which is nothing but what which is equals to rate of change of flux linkages that is the conductor is stationary and the magnetic field is time varying in nature which is nothing but d by dt of rate of change of flux linkages which is nothing but minus n t phi by dt which is nothing but e static. So this is the magnitude of statically induced emf Right? But coming to this sign, this sign is what? Negative sign, where where negative sign represents what? The direction of statically induced EMF, right? Statically induced EMF. So, the direction of EMF can be explained by which law? Lens law, right? So, what is Lens law? According to Lens law, the statically induced EMF in a direction which opposes the changes in flux linkages which produces that EMF. According to Lens law statically induced EMF in a direction which opposes the changes. in flux linkages which produces that EMF. Why the statically induced EMF is opposes that flux linkages because that flux linkages are nothing but cause. But what is the result? The statically induced EMF. The cause is flux linkage and the effect is what statically induced EMF. So what is Lenz law? Effect oppose the cause. So what about what is the statically induced EMF that is opposing the changes in flux linkages? That is the statement for Lenz law with respect to the magnitude of statically induced EMF. 
right so but what we have statically induced emf right statically induced emf what is the cause flux linkages so coming to statically induced emf that is what electrical quantity but coming to flux linkages that is nothing but purely magnetic quantity so this two are different quantities this two are different quantities then how can the effect that is the statically induced emf is opposing the changes in flux linkages because those two are different quantities obviously there is no concept of lenz law which is applied here right because these two are different quantities so in order to oppose that flux linkages we have to get the same quantity as like magnetic quantity so according to lenz law the direction of statically induced emf is such that it causes current in a closed loop which in turn produces flux which opposes the changes in flux so because of the statically induced emf obviously we are going to get a current obviously we are going to get a current that current is responsible to get a flux so that flux should oppose the changes in this flux linkages so according to lenz law the direction of statically induced emf statically induced emf is such that it causes current it causes current in a closed loop which in turn obviously because of the current which in turn produces flux which opposes the changes in flux linkage which is responsible for production of statically induced emf that is the case so we all know that we have a supply voltage right we have supply voltage because of the supply voltage there is a current because of that current there is a flux linkage in the transformer let us say this is maximum value of flux so this flux is responsible to get the value of statically induced emf so what we have first we have flux later we have what induced emf later we have current later we have what right so what is that so flux linkage phi m so because of this flux linkage what we have statically induced emf statically induced emf so statically induced emf is what electrical quantity and coming to this phi m which is the magnetic quantity these two are different quantities obviously a lens law is not applicable for different quantities so for that this statically induced emf is responsible to get the current the current this current is responsible to create flux let us say compensating flux phi c 
this phi c is opposes the changes in flux. So, this phi c will oppose the changes in this flux. So, this is negative. Now, we have this negative sign is what? E s which is equals to minus n d phi by t t e s t. This negative sign is nothing but this sign. Clear? This is nothing but negative feedback. That is why transformer is referred as a negative feedback device which is nothing but effect opposed the cause opposes changes in flux right opposes changes in flux so if you, if you have clear idea here this is what effect this is what cause but these two are different quantities that's why Lenz law is not applicable in this case. That's why statically induced EMF is responsible to create current. That current is responsible to get flux. So this flux and this flux are same qualities. Obviously, Lenz law is applicable. So this phi c opposes the changes in phi m. Right? This is the concept of Lenz law. So, so here. Phi m is what? Cos. Phi c is what? Effect. Effect opposed the cos, which is nothing but Lenz law. So here we have some note point. One quantity. One quantity opposes. another quantity like that one quantity one quantity opposes changes in another quantity so, what is the phase displacement? One quantity opposes another, another quantity. Like that, one quantity opposes changes in another quantity, which is nothing but 180 degrees phase displacement. Like that, one quantity opposes changes in another quantity that is 90 degrees phase displacement. So, it is having this is the car. So, obviously. This is what 180 degrees phase, which is nothing but always opposing, always opposing. But coming to 90 degrees phase displacement, what is that meaning? 90 degrees phase displacement is nothing but what? This is 90 degrees phase displacement this is 90 degrees phase that is opposing aiding simultaneously that is nothing but Lenz law right so that is nothing but Lenz law if the effect is more so obviously in order to oppose the changes we have to decrease that 
effect so if the effect is very less the effect is very less obviously in order to strengthen that effect we have to apply that effect in addition with that cost that is the concept of lens law we have discussed this concept very clearly in the explanation of a lens law so this is about the transformer as negative feedback device so what is the why it is called as negative feedback device so this is the total explanation of that justification transformer is referred as a negative feedback device thank you